Suture straight across the top here, separates into front and back, interior, posterior. Next one, lamboidal suture, right there, back. Okay, sagittal plane, sagittal suture. Um, squamous suture. Okay, we have the bones of the cranium, frontal bone. Superorbital foramen. This one does not show it really well, but it's a little itty bitty hole right over here. If I have another skull that has a better one, I don't see one real quick. Is that one the guy a good one? Is a superorbital foramen? Um, no, not really. Let's see if this one's got a better one. Uh, no. Neither of those skulls have a really good example. But, little hole right above the eye. Superorbital foramen. Um, then, let's see, frontal squama, right here. Forehead. Okay, parietal bones. They're on the sides. Okay, then we have temporal bones. Tempers, temples. First part of it is the zygomatic process. We have the styloid process. Okay, notice the styloid process looks like a little pen. A little pencil hanging down. Okay, we have the mastoid process. Then we have Grabbing a pen to point. Um, we have the mandibular fossa. That's the hole where the mandi mandible goes in. Then we have carotid canal, jugular canal, jugular foramen. Then we have right in here, in between the styloid process and the mastoid process. Stylomastoid foramen. Sir, can you point it slightly so, okay. Okay, sorry. That's the one that, what's that again, sir? That is the stylomastoid foramen. Okay. So it's a little bit hole in between these two processes. Okay. Then, we have the occipital bone. It's blue here. Okay, first part, foramen magnet. Magman, magnum, which means huge honking hole. Huge honking hole. Foreman magnum, right there, huge honking hole. Uh, then we have the occipital condyle, right there. Um, then, next one, sphenoid bone. Okay, we take a look, sphenoid bone, it's back in here, orange. Okay, sinoid bone is the um, ones we have to know. Optical foramen, it's this hole deep in there. Mm -hmm. Then we have this cella tertica, which if I can borrow that half skull. Cella tertica, it's right there. Looks like a little chair. Okay, then we have the turgoid processes. They look like wings sticking down. Turgoid processes look like wings sticking down. Okay, ethmoid bone. Crystal galley. It's this part sticking up. It basically is the, it's basically called the coxcomb, also called for like the rooster top. Uh, the cripiform plate. Yes. Yeah. Little holes in this thing. All up on there. It's plate for that. We're going to switch back to here. Uh, we're going to switch to here. Perpendicular plate. Take a look in there. Top half of this is the perpendicular plate. Um, let's see. Perpendicular plate and conche. I'm going to show them on this because they're colored. 
big yellow things on the sides. Conche. Inside the nose. Yeah. 